Okay, guys. Man, I'm excited. I'm excited. Man, it's the weekend. It's Saturday. And we have got some deliveries. We are, last night, we got our... We got our Shinko mobber, mobbers on our Grom, and we are continuing to convert this baby to a dual sport. And man, I got some packages in. Oh, I'm so excited. So we'll get these bad boys opened up and show you what we got, guys. Be right back. Okay, guys, here we go. Um, I've been scouring, I've been scouring the internet, uh, scouring Amazon, and before we get into this, I'll go ahead and tell you, I'll have an affiliate link for Amazon down here. Yes, if you buy it, I'll make some money. So check it out. Uh, this is going to be focused on actually storage on my Grom here that we're building for the old lady. But we also got some gear here, some must-have gear and accessories. I'll do a separate video on each one of these and we'll do a breakdown. Might combine some of them. But first here we have the recon medical this is a this is a mini trauma kit man this thing is sweet uh check out mother video it'll be coming soon i'll drop it and then i'll come back and and i'll add uh somewhere here probably over here i'll add a link to that video here we'll do a breakdown of this kit uh next we've got the outback rm14 folding tool set from cruise tools link in the description and yep Man, this is going to be pretty sweet. Uh, we'll also do another review on that, and then we'll add another link down the road, and it'll be up here somewhere, guys. So in a couple days, I'll get to this stuff here. And then, of course, since we are, man, since we are tubeless, uh, we've got the Tusk tire repair kit. So this is going to be, until we get our spoke rims, guys, this here is going to be a, a must. So... Link in description. Go check this out. This is pretty sweet, and, and it's pretty compact. Look at it. It's man. Look at that. I mean, it's it's nothing. Wow. It's mini. It's light. I gotta get my scale out here and weigh this stuff. So storage, storage for your Grom. Man, first first option I got here, and and this is of course this is some budget options for you guys. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll throw these. This also have links down in the description as well for both these bags. First up, we've got the Kimi Moto. Looks pretty sweet. Um, we're gonna get this guy set up, so we've got to get our we got to get our storage bags on, so we can get our necessities, accessories, and keep them on our bike, man. No matter where you go. And then uh, I'll back up real quick. Uh, first aid wise, guys, it's a trauma kit. You never know when you need to save a life, your life, someone else's life. Man, always have every vehicle I own. I've got at least two two first aid kits. So I'd say start with um, a little trauma kit like this, and then add your boo boo kit to it, and that's your band aids for your cuts and scrapes, and your neosporin, your ibuprofen, your Pepto Bismol. Add that to it, man. So start with a base kit. This is actually called a this is actually the Recon Bleed Kit, guys. This this thing is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get. I'm ready to do a video on this. Um, this is gonna be exciting. I, I love first aid, and then make sure you learn to use all your first aid and know what's in your kit. All right, so that's probably gonna be. This is gonna be our tank bag. We'll get it. We'll get it installed. Next here, this is a twenty-five dollar Amazon special. This is a motorcycle tail bag, weatherproof, city for universal fit, new, made in China. Link in the description. description. Oh, I just had a rough time trying to find a tail bag for this bike, guys. And this, this might be it, guys. I'm going to get it. We're going to get these installed. Promo, whatever the hell that means. Um, yeah, so, boom, package. Packages, blah, 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 blah. Man, guys, what do y'all think? <laughs> Oh, don't forget, you guys like off-roading, man. Go check, go, go check out my girl's channel over there in uh, Utah. Double Dominators, guys. Brand ambassador here. Uh, if you guys like jeeps and rock crawling, man, go check her channel out. She needs some support, guys. Just like, just like me. But uh, I'm gonna cut. We're gonna see how these 
bags, get on the on the bike, see how they look, and we'll be right back. Dang guys, for uh, for sub thirty bucks, I, I believe this bike, this bag was twenty eight ninety nine. Man, I'm actually I'm pretty impressed. I did have to take these covers off so I can fish. It was easier to fish it in from this side and get it up under right there because that strap was just a little bit long to go under the seat. But guys, I'm actually. Man, I'm pretty impressed with this thirty dollar bag. It seems to, it seems to comp complement the Grom pretty well. And what's uh, oh, let me get this out of the way. I had to take these side covers out of the way. I had to get me a little hanger, help fish that, fish that strap through there. But it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad at all, guys. Um, man, I like it. I like it a lot. I wonder if the lady's gonna like it. It's uh, look at that. Does not interfere with the stock handlebars. Man, how flipping cool is that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, buddy. Um, actually looks like it was made for this bike. All right, let's see here. I'm using my phone now. I've got an iPhone 12 mini with a OtterBox case. It fits in here really well. And then right here, I've got my old, this is my uh, old, uh, what, iPhone 6, 7, um, I don't know. Uh, I need to pull a tape measure out, but man, it fits in there with some, I mean, there's some pretty decent room in there guys for decent size phone. Um, and it actually, you it actually has the, uh, you can actually touch through this right here. So, so that's pretty sweet, man. I like it. It's not in the way of my pecker. That's always a plus guys. Got to keep that cooling air coming through here. <laughs> uh, who's ready to see? Who's ready to see what fits in the bag, huh? What if it's oh, and it flips all the way open, clamshell. Holy shit, guys! Oh my god, look at that! Look at all that freaking room! Oh, look, there's even a look, look. I don't know if this is a a giblet warmer or what, but man. Man, you could fit all kinds of cool shit in there. Mm. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, man, it fits. It fits like a glove, guys. Got a nice little... This right here kind of really looks kind of useless. Got a little piece of Velcro. I don't know. Maybe you could put a map in there. I mean, I, I'm not really sure. That That's... It'd been nice, man, to really scream, hell yeah, thirty dollars. If it had a, if it had a, a cover, uh, not a cover, but if it had the accessory spots like that Coleman bag does, uh, yeah, I'll put a link right here to that Coleman bag, guys. But man, it's got nice pockets. You could put pins and shit and this and that. It's really sweet, and that's like a sub forty dollar bag. So you guys want to go check that out? I'll throw a link down in the description as well for that one if you guys want it because that bag's sweet. And I'll see how it fits on this bike too. But so far, that that Coleman tank bag, man, guys, I can use that as a tank bag and a tail bag on my CRF 300L. It's freaking amazing. But man, as far as this bag here, I mean, man, it's pretty, it's pretty deep. Man, it's four finger deep, guys. All the way around, guys. Man, you could fit. Man, I could fit two or three of these bad girls up in here. <laughs> Man, hell yeah, I dig it, guys. Um, quality wise, I mean, for to be a damn thirty dollar bag, guys. Um, man, it's actually the material's pretty nice. I mean, it's got nice little accents here, little accents there. I don't see nothing coming apart yet. Yeah, there's a few th threads here and there. Um. I'm not sure about these buckles though, but it's a quick release. And then that's gonna be difficult to get to your fuel. Eh, I guess it depends on what you got in your bag. Let's see. Let's clip her back down. Let's see. Let's see how well she goes from the front. Probably have to flip her from the front. Flip her down. On. I got her in my wires there. Oh, that wasn't bad. I could live with that. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I could live with that. 
So we just flipped it around. All right, we pull it back. And so we got our front strap running up right here, up to here. Ah, shit. Get up in there. I need my helper. I don't have enough hands. But anyways, you get the idea. That flips back up in there, but man, guys, I like it. I like it. It looks good, but man, who needs to get to their flipping gas tank? Man, we get like 150 plus miles per gallon. So who gives a shit if it takes an extra minute to get to your to get to your 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 pet cock there, your petrol tank? All right, I'm gonna toss this rear bag on there and see what she looks man, like. Guys, not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad. Okay, guys. So this is uh. So just so you guys know, if you if you skip through the video and you're at this point, you're at this point right now. These are some budget options. I really dig this front take bag, and looks like it's going to hold up pretty decent, especially for the price. Um, this rear bag, same price, sub thirty bucks. Link in the description down below. Um, man, guys, and it actually, and this is off. This is also an option if you don't have a rear rack. Uh, we'll get a rear rack eventually. I currently don't like the ones that are on the market. Um, I'm gonna wait around, see what see what some folks come out with. Uh, if, if nobody comes out with something I like, I'm just gonna build my own. Um, but I guess if you've got your stock LED or blinkers back here, I mean, it's not gonna come off. It's got these cinch straps here. Pretty decent, pretty decent. I don't see it going anywhere because all right, guys, tossing this in, I, I missed something on this bag, which is actually pretty cool. It's actually got this flap on the back. Man, hmm. I was wondering what that did, but hey, check this out. Ha <laughs> ha, hell yeah. That's what those straps are for. Ha <laughs> ha, some bitch ain't going nowhere now. Hell yeah. If it goes anywhere, it's just going to flip on the back, and it's, it's going to stay hooked right here, So, which is pretty cool. Um, zipper feels nice. Let's see what's in the bag. All right, of course, we've got a oh – man, I, I love clamshell bags, guys. You can just get to everything. comes with this rain cap, which is ugly as shit. And look at that. Man, it fit – man, it's like this bag was made for the stuff. All right, so we've got our Tusk Tire Repair Kit. And then we've got our Recon Medical Bleed Kit, guys. I have some videos on these two. Man, I'm excited to dig into this one right here. I, I love I love me some first aid. I, I, I can't say that enough. First aid, first aid, first aid. Let's get that out of the way. And then we've got our little tool kit here. We'll do a video on that as well. Um, this one just has some quick cinch straps that unbuckle. Boom, boom. That's all it is. Boop. Just a cinch strap. Um, one thing that is pretty cool about this bag, though, it actually is. Check this out. Oh, got a, a damn strap in the way. Ain't got enough hands. Man. <laughs> Look at that. Man, it's expandable. It's like double. It like it like doubles. It like doubles the capacity of the bag, guys. Holy crap. Wow, that's impressive. That is, wow, now instead of laying them flat. Oh wow, look at that. Yes. Man, these are the perfect little bags for this bag. Look at that. Now we can fit three or four of these in here instead of two laying down flat. So that's what we went. We went from putting two of these in here flat to standing up like three or four of these, probably fit four of these. Yeah, we could fit four of these guys in here standing up and you know exactly what you're getting so if you expand it then you just run your scent strap Bloop. man that's not bad at all um the only i guess concern i would have about this bag i don't know the the quality doesn't seem as nice as as that bag but i mean for 30 bucks i mean you can't complain guys i'm sorry you can't complain for 30 bucks guys just you just cannot at all Man, if this bag lasts a year, I mean, $30, that's that's a throwaway bag. So so you ride this until it, it wears out and you go buy another one. I mean, compare that to a $200 tank bag, 
and you still have you know half the money and, and get about the same years of service out of the bag if not more um i guess the only concern i would have with running this bag is once we once we get our aftermarket leds and get away and get these elephant ears gone we're definitely going to have to get a better way of securing this bag probably probably right here and here and do away with these cinch straps and get a different strapping method so something to keep in mind if you're looking for this bag here if you're looking at this bag man just like the front bag man i think man i think it looks pretty dang good oh look my honda crv oh yeah that baby's four-wheel drive uh, i'd like to do some videos on that one get it lifted up but hey i'm getting distracted but man these bags look pretty good guys and i think there's some pretty good options so we've got hmm 60 bucks guys if you got prime you get free shipping two-day delivery <laughs> You can't beat it. 60 bags. You got a you got a tank bag and a and a tail bag. So um go check it out and watch for my videos to drop here in a few days. I'll get some I'll, I'll do a breakdown of both these kits and the tool kit and see what all that tool is useful for on this bike. So guys, right on.